Welcome to the channel and thanks for looking at the video. Today we're continuing on with that GHQ Micro Mama build, which was the Special Forces Pave lows that we're doing. So we let that grey dry. You can see there's a few little spots that probably could have been touched up with that spray can when I painted it, but um, I call it acceptable for now. We'll do something just to just to tidy it up. So um probably not in this video. <laughs> That's handy, isn't it? Um uh, so we're gonna Get these main rotor blades painted and what i do to paint them is just put them on a lid old spray can lid bit of blue tack and just anything any bit of wood or you know that's like what we call here in australia paddle pop stick or yeah so there's one painted up there just put it on there and get some paint so all i do is get a little bit of blue tack you know that's the top of the helicopter here that's the so if we turn that over, it all looks a bit messy where we use that glue, but that's fine because we won't see that when it's finished. I'll just put a bit of blue tack on there, like that. I'll bring in my little bit of homemade contraption and put that on an angle where we can get to every edge, every part. And this is one we did, well, one I did off camera so I'll just take that one off for now and when I've got that on there I can just go around and paint those blades so the color we use to paint them we're just going to use black gray give your paints a good shake and a and a good stir and we'll do the tail rotor as well so this the cell here I've got water in it and this one I'll just put a little bit of paint in it. And then I just go along, get a bit of paint there, just a drop of water and then just give it some big strokes along the blades. Oh, no, I'm not pushing very hard, I don't want to push it off that blue tack or anything. And try to do fairly even strokes. That's handy, isn't it? Exactly what I didn't want to happen. Come off. There's a million ways you can do it, but I just find it handy because you can hold it one end and uh, paint it. Yeah, try and give it pretty big, pretty big strokes. so we don't leave any uh, paintbrush lines on there and do exactly the same thing to the underside Actually, I've got one of those little trays with those clip things and I should have used that. So yeah, I'll go around and do that. I'll do the same thing to the underside. And I'll pull that off to the side to dry. Bring in the helicopter. A little bit of paint. Same brush. Get those rear rotors done. Remember we're painting it so you can just play it on a war game table, not to not so much to put in the show cabinet and display it for you know the world to see. 
I can't paint that good. So get that tail rotor painted up too, and then spin around and give the wheels a little bit of that colour too. Now we should change brushes to do the wheels. So go around and give your wheels a little bit of a little bit of that paint. So that's how our road is done. And I'll wash that brush out quickly just in that water for now and I'll give a proper cleaning brush cleaner after. But while we're making a video, we'll, we'll be washed out there. And then I'll bring in the other helicopter. You can see there where that uh, grey didn't quite get in there, so I probably should have gone over with it. A bit more grey. And we're going to start the windows for the windows. We're using clear purple. It's a dark colour. You can go lighter, but I decided with the helicopters, I thought we'll do a dark colour. So give it a good shake. Get a little bit on your palette. And then um, I'll change brushes and I'm going for a five zero. So quite a fine brush. And this just, you know, for someone like me, it just takes all your patience and all the patience in the world. I'll probably need uh, two coats. Just take your time. We will weather them a bit just because this is very hard to paint windows. My brush is looking terrible. What's going on? Yeah, I do recommend using a new brush. Or look after your brushes. So I'll go around and finish all the windows, get them painted up, and that's how we do, well that's how, one way to do uh, windows and rotors, and um, I'll get it all up to that stage, and then we'll look at adding some of the finer details on the helicopter and outlining some of those lines on it, give it some depth. Thanks so much for watching, and um, oh actually, the only one thing I was going to mention was sometimes people ask what I do with leftover paints. I've got some infantry here that I'm painting uh, and I'll use any of those leftover colours to sort of put onto there more any, any little projects I've got going on um, behind the camera, away from the camera, I'll um, use them on then. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.